Our opening story is about a man who is well known and respected for his work to help improve education for the deaf in Africa. We want to pay respect to this man who gave so much of himself to black African deaf students. His name is Dr. Andrew Foster, Gallaudet University's first black graduate. He died in a recent plane crash in Africa. Recently, his friends and students from all over gathered to remember this remarkable man and to just say thanks. Gallaudet University's Chapel Hall was the setting of a memorial service dedicated to the memory of Dr. Andrew Foster. Marius Titus of Benin was one of Dr. Foster's first students in Africa. If I am able to communicate with my hands today, I owe that to Dr. Foster. We already know that he was born in Alabama of a coal miner. It was his opinion that a deaf person living in Africa who cannot read or write was like a piece of gold lost in a far remote mine down in rural Africa. That piece of gold had to be taken out and polished, which means you have to go out and look in the rural areas for the people who do not have the benefits of the educational or the social opportunities as in the cities and train them. Andrew Foster established 22 schools for the deaf throughout Africa. As a young man, Foster attended the Detroit Institute of Commerce. Encouraged by counselor Eric Malskoon, he entered Gallaudet University, graduating in three years as the first black deaf man to earn a Gallaudet degree. A deeply religious man, he decided to dedicate his life to helping those in need. After further study in religion and education, he founded the Christian Mission for Deaf Africans in 1956 to provide an education to those who'd been denied the most basic educational opportunities. I remember very well now, as if it were yesterday. It was a very warm day in Nigeria in 1960 when I read in the paper that they had opened a school for deaf children. I said, wow, what's that? A school for deaf children? Where? Who? What? It was Andrew Foster. He wrote a letter asking me to come and see him. I went. And after three days travel, I met him. I said, this is me, Gabriel Adepujo. He pantomimed that he was deaf and that I was deaf. And I talked with other people standing with him. And I said, tell him my name is. They stopped me and gestured. He is deaf. We are deaf. I said, what? You? All of you are deaf? I thought I was the only person in the world who was deaf. Now I meet a person like you who is big and tall, who has an M.A., and who is deaf. These rare home movies from the early 1960s show Dr. Foster and his wife Bertha at several of the schools he founded in Ghana and Nigeria. Eventually, Andrew Foster founded 22 schools. Some of his most promising students were sent to America to continue their education. Andrew Foster's family plans to continue his mission because there is still much work to be done. His students will carry on his philosophy. 
I want to paraphrase one of the best Bible quotes. Always let us remember, Andrew Foster has planted seeds. We Africans will water them. We will let God give the increase. You did a good job, Andrew. Not only did you make me proud of you, you made the whole world proud of you. Thank you. On December 3rd, 1987, Andrew, traveling to one of his schools in Kenya, accepted a last-minute offer of an empty seat on a charter flight in East Africa. The plane crashed shortly after takeoff. Andrew was 62 years old. He survived by his wife, four sons, a daughter, and thousands of deaf students in more than 20 countries.